Welcome along to our second video tutorial where we are learning how to transition from a block-based coding in Scratch over to real text-based coding using Python. In the video today, all we're going to be doing is drawing a simple square. Okay, we've already drawn a triangle in the first video, so in today's video we're going to be drawing ourselves a square. We'll be starting in Scratch and then we'll transition over to Python. So in Scratch, I need you to start a new, um, new file. And I want you to go to events and bring out when the green flag is clicked. The first block of code we're going to put underneath that comes from the pen extension here. If you can't see the pen extension, remember to just go down to the blue box at the bottom left here and add that pen extension into your program. So when the green flag is clicked, when we start our program, the first thing we're going to do is erase all so that our canvas is blank every time we run the program. We're also going to change our motion to point in direction of 90, which is pointing to the right. So it's 90 degrees. And we're going to set up our pen color again. So go back to the pen blocks here, set the pen color to whatever color you would like. Okay, I'm going to be boring again and choose black, but feel free to play around with the different colors there and pick your own color. Once those basics are set up, we can start uh, getting ready to draw the square. So let's bring out another block of when the green flag is clicked. And just like we did in the first tutorial, we're going to lift our pen up off the page to begin with because we need to move to a new set of coordinates. And if we didn't lift our pen up off the page, our pen or our cat in this case would draw a line as it moved to these starting coordinates. Now the starting coordinates today are going to be minus 200, so that's over towards the left hand side of the page. And the y value is going to be minus 50. So we're just going down a little bit lower than halfway, or the center line um, on the page. Once we are in position, so once we've set up these coordinates, we can go back to the pen tool here and put the pen down ready for drawing. So the pen is now pushed against our page. And wherever this cat goes or wherever we tell it to move, a black line is going to follow it. Now the cat's a bit big for my liking, so I'm going to change its size here to 30%, so it's a bit smaller. And I'm going to start drawing a square. So my square is just going to have equal sides of 100 steps. So I'm going to move my cat 100 steps. And if I press the green flag, my cat moved to its start position over here and moved 100 steps to the right. And that's the first or the bottom of my square. Once we are in that position, we're going to turn anti-clockwise 90 degrees. And when we run the program again, now you'll see your cat will be facing up. Once he's facing up, you can move him again 100 steps. And he draws the next part of your square. Okay. Um, we're going to turn anti-clockwise again at 90 degrees. So that'll have him facing, I know he's upside down, but he's facing towards the left-hand side of the page now. So we'll be able to move 100 steps in that direction, give it a run, we've got the top of the square drawn. Just repeat those two blocks of code one more time, so we're going to turn anti-clockwise 90 degrees, we're going to move 100 steps, and that should bring us back to the start. Now he is facing down here, the cat, uh, I am going to swing him back around to the right, so I'm just going to turn him 90 degrees anti-clockwise again. Let me just test that. That's better. You'll see why I'm doing that in just a moment, but I am going to be drawing a second square over here shortly. So I just want to make sure that he's facing back to the right when he gets um, back to the start there. Okay, so we've just moved 100 steps the whole way around and turned 90 degrees at each corner. Okay, pretty simple. What we're going to do now is go and code that up using Python code. So head over to the program called Mu. And if you remember from the previous video, we need to always start with this line of code from turtle import star. So from the module or a library of code written by some other smart person called turtle, we're going to import everything inside of it. So all the functions inside of it. Functions are just blocks of code. Okay, so we've imported all the blocks of code that allow us to draw on the screen. So we can use them now to draw a square on the screen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do if we look back here, we lift our pen up off the page and we move to a set of coordinates. So we're going to do the pen up function and we write go to to move ourselves to X and Y coordinates. We're going to 
it's going to go to minus 200 and zero. I think that's what it was. Oh no, it was minus 200 and minus 50. There we go. And once we're at those coordinates and in position, we can put the pen back down on the page ready for drawing. Now the first thing we did was we moved forward 100 steps. I'm going to save it at this point. I'm just going to call it number 2 square and give it a run. And you'll see that our turtle moved down here to the minus 200, minus 50 coordinates and then moved across the page 100 steps. Okay, that's the first part of our square done. Easy. We're then going to turn left, which is anti-clockwise, at 90 degrees and go forward again 100 steps. And that should turn us around and have us going up the page, across and then up. We just need to repeat that a few more times now. So we turn left 90 degrees, go forward 100, left 90 degrees, and forward 100. That should finish us off. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Now as you can see our turtle is currently facing down. I want it facing to the right. So we're going to need to turn it around here by going left 90 degrees just one more time. And if we test that we should see our turtle is now back facing to the right hand side which is perfect. Okay, so there is the code. I'll just zoom back one here to draw a simple square. Okay, what we're going to do now is draw a bigger square and we're going to simplify the code. We're going to use a loop to write the code this time. So instead of repeating these blue blocks, the same blue blocks over and over again, it does get pretty tedious. We're just going to write it once and tell the computer to repeat those lines of code a few times to draw the square. Okay, so let's um, put at the bottom here in the events, we're going to broadcast a message to say that we've finished drawing this first square. So under message one there, just write a new message called square finished. And we're going to bring out when I receive message and change it to square finished. So when I receive the message that the square, first square has been finished or first square has been drawn, we are going to lift our pen up off the page and move to a new set of coordinates. The coordinates we're going to this time are going to be 200 and minus 50. Once in position, we're going to put our pen back down on the page ready for drawing. And in control, we're going to bring out our loop. It's going to be our repeat loop. And we're going to repeat these blocks of code four times because we've got four sides to our square. So we're going to repeat these two blocks of code uh, four times. So we're going to turn 90 degrees. What was the other one? I should have put the move in first actually. Move. We go 200 steps, so it double the size of our original one. So we only need to put these first two blocks in. Oops, let's run that again. I think we might need to have that turn first, actually. There we go. Okay, so make sure you've got the turn left coming in first and then move 200 steps to make sure you get that square done perfectly. And um, yeah, as I was saying, the computer will repeat these two blue blocks of code four times. Probably only needs to be repeated three times. Let's see what that does. Oh no, it was four times. My mistake. There we go. So we repeated it four times to get that bigger square. Let's go and code that up now in Mu. Okay, I might use some comments again here just to um, make my code easier to read. So at the top here, just above this pen up, I'm going to put in a hashtag, which stands for a comment. And I'm just going to write um, smaller square. If you remember from the previous video um, what comments are, you don't have to worry about this bit, but for those of you who forget comments, um, these get skipped by the computer when it's reading your code. They don't actually process these. It's just plain simple English that tells people what is happening in your code. So if somebody else was to read your code, a comment will just help them understand what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to put smaller square at the top and bigger square at the bottom. I'll make a bit of room at the bottom here. Oops. So for the biggest square, uh, similar kind of code. We're just going to do our pen up to start with, lift it off the page, and go to that new set of coordinates. So what coordinates did we use? 200 and minus 50. Once in position, we put our pen back down. We're ready to start drawing. Now, as I said before, um, we used a loop to make this process a bit simpler. 
Okay, so to do a loop in Python, remember we write for i in range and then in brackets, how many times do we want to repeat the next few blocks of code? So we want to repeat it four times for the four different sides of the square. What we're going to do is turn left 90 degrees, go forward 200 degrees, ah, sorry, 200 steps, and that should be it. Let's give it a run. There's the first one, and there's the second one. So we've now got the code there to draw two perfect looking squares. As we did in the previous video, I might put hide turtle down the bottom here to say that little black um, arrow that you see drawing the shapes will disappear at the end. Okay, it just cleans up the page a little bit. And if you want, remember at the top here, you can put in the speed that you want to set your turtle to. So speed zero, remember, was the fastest speed. And that will just slap those two squares straight under the page. If you want to slow it down a bit, by all means, go for it. You can choose any number between 1 and 10 to put in the speed there. 1 being the slowest speed, 10 being the fastest, or 0 if you don't even want to see any animation. When you're done, save that up and you are finished. So you now know how to draw squares um, in two different ways in Scratch and then two different ways over here using Python code. All right. All right, we'll catch you in the next video where we are going to start drawing an even more complex shape, which is a pentagon. So I'll see you then.